I'm Pete Carter, I'm the senior gardener here at Fulham Palace and today I'm going to talk to you about the bird boxes. Uh, most of our bird boxes were made by the gardens team and the garden volunteers using recycled wood from the ramp, old oh, ramp from the cafeteria. Um, this example here is a robin box. Ideally, most nest boxes need to be north facing or north to east facing to keep the rain, sun and all the elements off. Uh, robin boxes, they're open fronted, they like to see outside when they're nesting and once they're in and they're hidden amongst vegetation that's an ideal habitat for them. This, next, this nest box we have on the wall is uh, a different type of nest box. It's a, a blue tip box, cold tip box, 25mm um, hole. This year we've had to put a metal face on that just stops the squirrels, woodpeckers making the holes bigger, getting in and taking the eggs in the hatching. Our third type of nest box, this is for nuthatch, house sparrows and that's a 32 mil size hole. Again, we've had to put the metal face on the front just to stop the squirrels and the woodpeckers making the holes bigger. We have 18 nest boxes up now across the whole site. Um, these are made with, from dimensions from the RSPB website. Uh, you could do this yourself if you go in and you can make your own as well also. But this is one of our bird feeders we've put up. This is to attract small birds. Uh, the message on the bird feeder to stop ring neck parakeets and squirrels from damaging the bird feeder and nicking all the food as well also. Yeah. Edmund doesn't have any interest in the birds whatsoever. <laughs>